Well, here we are with our neighbor's little old fast track. It's uh, pretty dirty. Needs a lot of work. We're going to see if we can't get where Al's widow can uh, keep the yard up with it. And uh, I imagine we'll be the one doing the mowing, which is fine. But it's not pulling from one tank, so we're going to have to do a little discovery on it. And I thought I'd go ahead and spray her down here with some cleaner and uh, give a good bath. And um, this thing, I don't believe, is the mower that he sent to the shop because when it went to the shop, it had a Honda motor on it. Now it's got an old used Kohler Courage, and it had a, um, I believe it was a 19 horse Honda on it when it left here. It also had a rear discharge, which now. It's got a cobbled up, as you can see, it's got a cobbled up whatever you want to call that, mulching blade cover. So uh, we're going to uh, clean up real well, find out what all its issues are. And I mowed with it the other day, it did a terrible job, like to beat me to death. So we're going to see how much air the tires have in it. And, uh, tires have air is too much I'm pretty sure because it was like riding a stick horse so we're gonna clean up find out what all we got to do to it get her done get her home and uh, we'll uh, we'll try to give you all some pictures here before and after and uh, and then as we get her going we'll let you know what we did we'll try to film a little bit of it so stay tuned well she's looking a lot better there boys and girls and as you can see right down there, you definitely want to keep these things clean. It got a lot of washing done here. It's been about an hour and a half on the little rascal. And uh, looks a lot better. We're going to see if we can find where the tank seems to be leaking. And uh, I want y'all to get right down here. Take a look right back in there. We're going to take those off and clean that out reason why for all you uh, Max's Garage Mahal subscribers and viewers need to pay real close attention to the MGM Max's Garage Mahal ported belt covers because I started cleaning that one out and you can see that bag over there it's full and I still probably have a lot more by the way it hadn't fired up and it hadn't hit another lick since I've stopped it and even before I washed it, so uh, we had to use the old uh, 1996 hoodless MTD Yardman 16 horsepower, 42 inch cut, 7 speed shift on the go, all wheel steer. Tell me you got a zero turn. <laughs> anyway, as you can see, the old girl didn't mind one bit jerking that thing out of the incline over there. Or decline to bring it over here and uh, now that I've swung you all around the world that's what I was talking about porting those belt covers so we're going to look into uh, finding a way to exhaust the grass clippings out of this um, fast track because this is not acceptable at all we're not going to have that when we take this thing home not only will it cut grass it'll want to stand up on its tail end and wave its front wheels and say I'm ready to go so anyway she looks a lot better um, we may black that out for a little bit the seat looks brand new again and uh, I had to get on with muddy feet just a moment ago so I have to clean these deck plates up again but she's looking a lot better already and uh, we'll have this thing looking like brand new well it may not look like brand new but we'll have it looking really nicely really nice and um, have it running as well as that little Kohler motor right there will run and it's got a carburetor problem so we're going to clean the carburetor on it get that ready to go main thing that we're really concerned with also is the blades need sharpening and the sticks are just have a terrible lot of slack in them and uh, you can see there's a major problem right down here with the 
bushings I'm assuming is going to be the problem. See if y'all can see that as I do this. I don't know if you can see down in there or not. Get the camera in my own way here. Well, let's see, back up. Now let me try that again. See all that movement shouldn't be there? So let's look at the other side. This stick is really lazy on this side. And once again, tons of slack down in there. Let me see if I can get on my own, out of my own light here. So we're going to see if we can't tighten this old girl up, make it where it wants to perform like it should. And I don't know if we can make it perform like a brand new one, but we're certainly going to get it as close as possible in that way. It can go over and mow wide open throttle, wide open land speed, and see what happens, and get her mowing real nice and smooth. So stay tuned. We'll come back with some other uh, information. Well, we had to pull the engine shroud off right there. As you can see, the top of the flywheel and the engine cooling fan. And you can see she's got some oil leakage on the uh, side of the engine case and apparently at the valve cover and um, I'm having to dig out the spark plug and it appears to be the original spark plug for whoever put this motor in here and never never uh, serviced this thing at all look at this can you see that down there this, boys and girls, will make your motor run hot and eventually make it fail because it has started galling the cylinders and the rings expanding, getting so hot that the rings expand and in the gap disappears and it's called end budding on the rings. Next thing you know, they are so big that it's bigger than the cylinder. Go ahead to get this on my drive, but as you can see down there, that's where it's going right now for the time being. And we'll get it all cleaned up here in a little bit. Hopefully the uh, the uh, lady of the house don't come out here and shoot me. And that very well could happen. So anyway, we're going to get this done, get it cleaned up, get the spark plug out of it, and see why it won't fire. Got a feeling we're going to know already. But, and now that the drive has started drying, you can see that the little 16 horse color over there on the old antique MTD yard man with a slipping belt still got some horsepower to the ground there guys that's called torque anyway we'll be back we've got to get this off by the way I pulled this out I wish I'd showed you this I pulled the filter out of it which it's original filter however old that is I've absolutely never seen one that stopped up in my life um, let's see let's walk around here to the building inside the building the garage my hall and just see if we can see if it still shows on the side of the building here oh yeah there you go get a look at that boys and girls that right there I think I beat on that about 35 times and it was still coming out of there in large cakes so temporarily until we get the old girl started back up running then uh, we're gonna leave that air filter on it and then get it running good nice and smooth after we've blown that out then we'll replace that filter I'm going to have to figure out some way to take this large bow out of this engine guard because you can't get that filter off and on and you can't get in there to service most of the parts on the side of the engine so that's either going to have to come off and I'm going to have to jump up and down on it and do something anyway we'll get back to you as soon as we have some more information boy something sure is a miss in here look here there's a lot more room in this place for some reason it looks like uh, Hey honey, I shrunk the Raptor. Okay, so we have a little fast track inside. We've got a fan going over here. We've got a great big fan going over there. It's uh, 90 something degrees here. And it's probably, I don't even want to put a thermometer inside here because I don't need to know how hot it is. But we're going to show you a couple things. And let me zero in. We've got looseness of the skin, I mean the sticks. 
So we're going to see if we can take care of some of that. Uh, we're going to see if we can get the um, stick adjustment so that they, as you can see, this one's tight right here. This is tight right here. And it's off quite a bit. So we're going to go ahead and try to get those adjustments made. We'll try to get some of them on camera as well so you can see what we're doing. And uh, we may even try to go with a bigger rear tire while we're at it. Don't know how bigger we can go, but we may go with a bigger rear tire. So stay tuned. We'll get set up, see what we need to do. We'll be back. Alrighty, we got one of the sticks taken care of, and Lord, it took forever. I uh, finally had to break out the half inch drive stuff to, uh, to break the bolt loose or the nut loose in order to get it off the bolt in order to then uh, remedy the slack. So I'm going to zeal in here and show you the difference in the sticks now. That may be too close. Alright, watch this. Alright. This one you should be all over the place like this. Now, it's got the normal slack in it, which is what it's supposed to have somewhat of. This is still a little bit worn. Actually, it's a lot worn. But what we had to do is there is a bolt and nut that goes through this part right here. goes from the back to the front. And it's got two washers. And the bolt shank is too long is the reason why that wore so badly is, is it wasn't ever really tight. So I took the nut off, took the nut off the bolt and put another washer in and you can see there he is down there on the deck or the belt cover. There's another washer right there in case I needed to. So that's what we did. We're going to do the same thing to the other side now. And hopefully it won't be as much fun as this side was. And we'll get the slack out of the sticks. Then we can start adjusting for the steering tracking on the thing. So stay tuned. We'll be back. Okay. Let's see. The sticks are now even. And the slack is gone. which is really nice and I want to show you that down here as we zoom in in order to washer those bolts up right there you have to move the stick forward get the bolt aimed down like this and then you can get in here and put a, put a standard wrench in the back you get a socket deep well socket on the front side and then you can loosen that up in order to be able to uh, take the nut off and the original washer put a thicker washer on to the inside the old washer on the outside put the nut back on tighten it up until it's really tight back it off until the sticks move smoothly but have plenty of drag on them because they are going to get looser again. And you can put a drop of oil on either side once in a while. And that will make that thing a lot better. Now we're going to get underneath it. We have found that the bolt right there that goes all the way across. It keeps the deck from moving back and forth. It's gone. Not there. Um, so we're going to go in and we're going to replace that bolt. Tighten it up and make sure that that deck doesn't move back and forth. Uh, at this time, that's where we're going to be. So we're going to get all this put together and we'll be back shortly. Okay, we are now underneath a little fast track. And this is the subject or the topic of a lot of people's discussion is the buildup underneath the deck. And if you could see this, let's see, let's see if we can get you over here. Uh, right over there that's probably sticking out an inch and a half from the deck and under here it's just terrible so we're going to clean this out we're going to sharpen the blades 
I'd replace the blades, but they're not mine. The mower's not mine. And look at this right here. Y'all see that hanging down right here? That's just how much stuff was underneath this deck. So we're gonna clean it out. See if we can't get this thing to uh, to perform a little bit better. So we'll be back shortly. Well, that's what she looks like when you start digging her out of there. I tell you, that's a that is a lot of stuff right there, guys. A lot of trash. So we're gonna get that uh, set of belts off, or not belts, but set of blades off. Sharpen them. Put them back on, and then give that thing a test bow. See what uh, see what it looks like. Stay tuned. Well, it's a shame we don't have smell vision because all this stuff we took out from underneath the deck and the stuff on top of the deck here, this is completely clogged up, and I've already taken a lot of it by hand. So I thought, you know what, I need to go ahead and video this so you can get an idea of how bad this gets. And you can see at the top of the, of the inside of the belt cover just how packed that gets. So um, we're going to figure out some way to exhaust this, um, this grass out of here. We need to drill some one inch holes. One, two, three and maybe one two three here and see if we can't get that sucker where and do that uh, we're going to empty this out exhaust that grass clippings out of there so we may or may not get that done in this video but if we do then wonderful if not we'll come back and try to because uh, we're going to have to change blades on this we sharpened what we have and believe me there's not much of those blades left so Anyway, tell you what we're going to do. We're going to, uh, before we close this video out, we are going to go out and test run it. But we may wait till another day because it is late in the day. I need to get the old, uh, you know what? A friend of ours on uh, Hustler Mower Group calls his uh, mower Mobius. I called it Mobius Maximus. So I can't use his name. So maybe we'll just call this Maximus Decimus, uh, something or another. And anyway, I'm going to go ahead and close this out for right now, and we'll see you tomorrow, perhaps, and finish this up. Thank you. Well, here's what we come up with for the modification to the belt cover for this Hustler Fast Track. And... Here is some more of the grass we've gotten out of here. That was just on top around the spindles. And we'll show you on the other side over here real quickly. This bag also came out of there. There is some more right here. And right here, and as you can see, down inside here, there is more yet. So let's see if we can, there you go, right down in there. So we hadn't got it all cleaned out, but we're going to do some alterations to the to the belt cover and guard. And this is what we started with right here. And you can see the outlines that we'll be removing. And um, I believe it's going to resolve most of this problem. And that should save the belt, the pulley, the spindles. Because this was so packed that I used this body shop tool to remove things. This big old long screwdriver. This scraper right here. Gasket scraper. A <laughs> claw hammer. and Oh, and this cat claw over here. Just to remove. And that's uh, 22 inches long. Just to remove all the stuff from the deck so far. So, uh, man, I wish we had smell vision This is some of the worst smell you've ever smelled in your life. So, we'll get all this done, and we'll come back as soon as we have some more progress made. Well, there it is. It's not completed. It's not uh, touched up other than a little bit of paint for the first mow. 
and uh, when we come back we will adjust that uh, opening on the right and left of the bolt in order to be able to make it a little more symmetrical and then we're going to test it if we do not need this side we may not cut that out but I'm really strongly opinionated about that particular opening because that's where the first grass that comes around the belt and the pulley wants to exhaust be thrown out centrifugal force so we'll most likely cut that we can't take it all because this is also the deck lift on this machine so we don't want to uh, destroy that integrity all we're going to do here is just relieve the fence so that it can not capture as much of that grass in there again you'll recognize this from coming out from underneath the the top of the belt covers there and around the pulleys and it was really seriously bad and you can see how much the metal I picked up several loads of it with a magnet I'm about to pick it up again and do some sweeping and then another one before we roll the tires and um, we'll get it outside and wash off the top of the deck really nice and clean and uh, then we'll go mow and as you can see let's walk around here to the other side the other side will not be disturbed um, I will go ahead and put the cover back on it and then we'll take it back off and see how bad that clogs up compared to the other side so stay tuned all right it's about 20 25 mile an hour wind out here today but I thought I'd show you the uh, porting there on the belt cover and as you can see it works it's uh, a lot of crap on top of that thing but inside that belt cover so let's go over to the other side, left the other side off. And without it, the cover on, it's actually fuller in there than it is with that belt cover on and ported. It's bright out here, I really can't see if you can see what I'm looking at. Anyway, uh, it is a lot cleaner inside that belt cover. So porting does help, and uh, I'm going to call this video complete. And that's the old fast track right there. It's got a, let me see, I just mowed with it. I'm going to show you across the street. Sticks are now lined up. All the slacks going on the sticks. And over there, across the street, you can see the freshly mowed lawn. And, uh, so that's we're going to call this closed on this video today we're about to blow this thing off get it ready to go back into the garage mall we've got a few other things we need to do and want to do i'm going to go ahead and pull the carburetor off which we haven't had a chance to do yet and um, a couple other things so we want to get um, want to get this valve cover off get the leak stopped on it and other than that no big deal but we're gonna call it quits and uh, we appreciate you guys coming by hope you'll subscribe share hit that like button thumbs up and uh, appreciate you coming by Max's Garage Mahal y'all come back and see me now yeah okay I couldn't bring this video to the end until I got inside here out of the wind Maybe you hear what I'm saying. You can see the uh, little baby fast track there still needing some cleaning on it. And the blades of war plum out there is about an inch and a half, two inches of gap between the blade tips. So we went over just now after we got through mowing and we found a pair of old blades here. Wind's been blowing stuff all over the shop. I've got paper everywhere. But I'm going to pick it up and wipe that mower off here with just a moment. But hopefully those blades will be a lot better than what was on the thing or is on the thing. But I just want you to compare the baby fast track to the old SD60 Raptor. And that's always the star of the show right there is the old Hustler Raptor SD60. I would not swap you a flake of paint off of that mower for 27 and a half of those. And it's the reason for that is it's easier to work on, it rides better. Of course, now it does have flex forks on it. 
it does have the suspension seat it does have those great big gigantic mass FX AT 2310 or 2311 by 10 um, by Mass Depot tires and if you hadn't got a set of those Mass Depot tires you really do want a set of those those are fantastic tires man you don't do a sliding around I was spinning up and down that little hill over there you can see the hill side it's pretty steep doesn't look that bad until you're over on it and then I'm telling you you're just about uh, about 15 18 degrees on your side but that little, mon that little monster right here it holds a hill well uh, it don't like going up and down the hill very well, but it holds it sideways pretty well. And um, there you go. You get your comparison shot of the little baby Fast Track and the Hustler Raptor SD. The only thing that the Fast Track has going for it, real quickly, I'm not going to get out here in the wind, uh, is, and I mean the only thing it has going for it, because it's a pain in the butt to work on, and that's the deck lift stop on it for setting the grass cutting height I like that other than that again would not swap you a flake of paint off this one for the fast track so all you guys loves you fast track I apologize to you for being hard on you but I got to be honest dollar for dollar that's worth ten dollars for every two dollars you paid for that one so y'all get over it you're not gonna like me after this but that's okay but I'm going to just tell you like it is. So thank you for coming by. Again, please subscribe. Hit that like button. Hit that notification bell so I can insult you some more. No, just kidding. <laughs> but please come back by Max's Garage Mahal and take a look at the next video. We appreciate you very much. And y'all come back and see me now. Yep. Yeah?